Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to showcase a super quick workflow to create custom clothes in Marvelous Designer for MetaHumans and then to bring those clothes into Unreal Engine and use cloth physics to rig them to the MetaHuman skeleton. If you have any questions about any of the process or details, uh, jump into the Discord. This is a super quick workflow just to create custom clothes for MetaHumans in Marvelous Designer. So we're gonna break this down into a few parts. The first part is exporting the MetaHuman skeleton and getting that ready to be used as an avatar for Marvelous Designer to create the clothes onto. We will use Blender to process that. Um, the second part is actually creating the clothes in Marvelous Designer. And then the third part is bringing those clothes asset objects back into Unreal Engine and applying the cloth physics to them. This is just a workflow that works for me sometimes. Um, there's a million different ways to do this kind of stuff. So this is just a method that I use sometimes and uh, hopefully you'll find it useful too if this is what you're looking to do. All right, let's uh All right, step one, let's export our MetaHuman body to Blender to process for Marvelous Designer. Let's go. Here we are in Unreal Engine with our MetaHuman. So uh, I already assumed that you have created your custom MetaHuman. Um, I am just gonna be creating pants and clothes for this guy. So um, we're not going to, so I'm just gonna leave the default boots on him. I have Tomas here just in his underwear. So thank you, Tomas. All right, so let's go ahead and drag Tomas into our sequence here and delete these rigs. And first things first is we're going to right click on the blueprint in the sequencer and select export. And I'm going to save this. This will export the FBX of the metahuman skeleton of the boots, uh, head and body. All right, now um, all of these options, we don't need a lot of these such as the morph targets or level of detail or the collision. I'm gonna uncheck all of this. The only thing I'm gonna leave on are these static mesh options here because we do not need the uh, skeleton or anything. I'm just gonna leave these static mesh options enabled here. All right, great, so that was it. We're done with Unreal Engine. Now let's jump into Blender and clean this up a little bit for Marvelous Designer. And we so we can export an object from that, so. Now that we're in Blender, let's go ahead and import our FBX that we just created. All right, we'll leave all of this just the same here. Okay, here we go. Here are the here is the metahuman skeleton in Blender. So first of all, I'm going to select the head skeleton and just hide that. And then I'm going to select the body skeleton and I'm just going to hide this as well. And then that's the foot skeleton. So yeah, that's all three. And now I'm just going to select the head and body mesh and I'm going to control J and join these together. And I'm going to do the same with the boots and the body. Control J and join them together. Great, that was it. All right, now there's a lot of different things you could do, you could rename it, but just simply, you know, it's just called feet right now, but that's not really necessary. So let's go ahead and export this as an object. And we're gonna wanna select, uh, selection only. There we go. All right, and now we're done with Blender. We're moving quick, let's go. Super quick. Now that we have our object created for Marvelous Designer, let's go ahead and create some clothes. All right, now that we're in Marvelous Designer, first things first, we need to load our custom object avatar. So we're gonna go up to add here. I'm gonna select avatar, and we're gonna select the object that we just created. All right, we're gonna add it. So this tutorial is not um, on Marvelous Designer uh, clothes simulation creation tutorial. So I'm just going to use clothes from a pack that I bought already. And to note, this pack that I bought is not in the MetaHuman pack. If you'll notice that the arms are not in the same A pose um, with the bent elbows out as MetaHuman uh, export is. So stay tuned. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab some pants. All right, let's grab some pants. I like these, let's drag these in. We're gonna add them. Okay. All right, here they are. Look great. Just kind of size these up a little bit here. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, looks pretty good to me. All right, so now they're a little long in the pant leg, so I'm just going to shorten these pants up a little bit, because uh, I'm really over the boot cut here. All right, there we go, so a little bit shorter. Let's just go ahead and simulate this real quick. See how it comes out. All right, not too bad. Uh, you'll notice this belt here is a little loose around its waist. So what I'm gonna do is just grab one side of this here and shrink this way down. Now let's run this simulation. All right, much better. It's cinched up real nice. I'm gonna delete all of this stuff out. All right, well, this is good. So yeah, let's just pull out. I'm gonna pull the boot up a little bit here. Kind of fix these pants a smidge here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kind of freaking out a bit. It's all right. I'm not going for technical masterpiece right now. All right, and this is not totally needed, but um, I'm just gonna clean up the UVs here real quick. Fit them into the first UDM, and we'll pack them in as well. Defaults all look good. Great, UVs are all set. Now if we wanted to go into something like Substance Painter or um, Blender or something to texture it, this would be really crucial, but um, just for the experiments today, uh, it's not totally needed, but. Make all this red. Give him some red pants here. All right, let's go ahead and go up to export here as USD. And we're going to type in our name. And we're going to uncheck material, uncheck avatars, uncheck graphics and trim. We're going to want single object and thin. Um, for sake of time, let's just send the unified UV coordinates, just the diffuse and the normal map. And we'll include the garment simulation data as well. Great, now that that's exported, we're gonna select all of the pants here and we're going to freeze them. And drag them up here. All right, let's find the good top for Tomas here. All right, let's go ahead and drag this one in. Let's select add. All right, there it is. Let's move it to fit a smidge. All right, so you'll notice now that our arms are bent like this. So it's not, it's not fitting properly. You'll notice, so what I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of manual readjustment on these arm pieces here. All right, so I'm just gonna select one of the arms here. And I'm going to turn on the arrangement points for this avatar and then just click one of the points and the arms will go ahead and jump uh, around those points there. Let's go ahead and shorten these sleeves. They're too long here, it looks like. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this, shorten the sleeves up too. Let's just go ahead and shorten these sleeves up a little bit too and drag down these cuffs like this. Yeah, yeah, so let's go ahead and make sure that these arms are kind of lined up in the right spots here. That'll definitely make a difference. All right, here we go, that one works. And then all you gotta do is just pull this one out a little bit there. There we go. Sleeves are a little short, but uh, not too bad. All 
looks pretty good to me okay not too bad it's a little short but uh you know you get the you get the idea all right so let's go ahead and i'm just gonna assign this also a red color shirt and pant pretty good so I'm just gonna select our shirt material now that I've deleted the pants I'm gonna grab just a shirt and select export USD give it a name Uncheck material and select all avatars and select all graphics and trim. Uncheck those. Single object, thin. We will turn on, make sure our UV coordinates are turned on and our garment simulation data as well. And hit OK. Exporting that USD. All right, there we go. Now we're done with Marvelous Designer. All right, let's jump back into Unreal Engine here. All right, now that we have created our pants and jacket for our Tomas MetaHuman, let's go ahead and import those assets into Unreal Engine and create some chaos cloths for them. All right, first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have chaos cloth enabled in your plugins. So you're gonna go up here to edit and you're gonna select plugins and then you're gonna type in chaos cloth. You're gonna make sure that these three are enabled and you're probably gonna have to restart. Now, once you've done that, you can come back into your content folder and right click, go to physics and choose cloth asset. And we're gonna name this, uh, let's name jacket. We'll open this up. It's a whole lot of nodes here and we're not gonna talk about any of them for real. We're gonna talk about like two. So first things first, we're gonna click on this very first one called USD import and we're gonna select our jacket that we just exported. All right, here it is. We can go to the 3D sim and check it out. There it is, that's it. All right, so once we've done that, the next step is to select our skeletal mesh that we want. So let's go down here and select our metahuman body. So for me, it's the medium narrow body, male medium narrow that was created. And there we go, we can see our jacket on the metahuman body here. So let's click on the transfer skin weights node here. And we're going to go up and select our source mesh that we want to transfer the weights from. And we're going to select the metahuman preview version of that so there we go we can see the preview showing up and let's select accept here that will transfer those weights to the cloth and then the next step here to test it out let's go up to animation asset and select an animation that i recorded to show off a little demo real quick and yeah let's go ahead and play it and there we go uh, we have our clothes on our metahuman that we just created um, like five minutes ago, so. All 
Now there are a ton of other things that we can do with all these nodes. I'm not going to get into any of them. The only last thing we want to do is set our physics asset here. So one more time, we're just going to select our physics asset and we're going to choose the metahuman uh, normal body for me. Same thing. All right, and now we can go ahead and save this. Great. So now let's uh, go ahead and do the same thing for our pants. So we'll right click, go down to physics and select cloth asset and we'll name these his pants. All right, all the nodes. First step as before, go down to the USD import and select the little dots where you can select the pants we just exported. I'm gonna select the pants we just created. Here they are. Put them in 3D simulation view. All right, next step, I'm gonna select our skeletal mesh our skeletal mesh asset, and that's gonna be the medium, narrow, male, metahuman body. There it is, and there are the pants on them. They look good. All right, next step is to transfer the skin weights again, and let's select the source mesh we want, which is going to be the metahuman preview version. Great, and let's transfer those weights. Okay, they transferred great. Let's go ahead and select the demo animation. And there we go. Look at that. He's dancing around in his pants. With his great six pack. Dancing around in his pants. All right, now let's just drop these clothes on our metahuman real quick. So I'm gonna open up the Tomas blueprint here and we're gonna type in, I'm gonna click add here and I'm gonna type in cloth and I'm, it's, the chaos cloth is gonna pop up. Let's call this one pants. We're gonna come over here to the cloth asset, the pants that we just created. If we wanted to add materials, this is where we'd be able to add materials. All right, let's come up here. We're gonna add this, another chaos cloth component. Oh, we don't want this, this one, we'll call this one our top. I'm gonna drag this out from under it and we'll put both of them underneath the body here. And so let's select our jacket. There it is. Let's go ahead and compile this and save. Let's open up our sequence demo here. Let's just add our demo animation we created. There he is. All right. Looking great. And so yeah, so those are the clothes that um, we just made um, moving on the metahuman. Looks great, Tomas. All right, that was it. Um, all right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that made sense. All right, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Again, if there's any parts that you would like more explanation on or I glossed over or you would like me to get more in depth, please jump into the Discord and we can talk about those for real. All right, if you enjoyed that, please let me know. Um, yeah, super quick tutorial. There's a million ways to go about this process, but this is just um, one that I use sometimes um, to quickly create clothes for my metahumans. I hope you enjoyed that little demo of how to create clothes for metahumans in Marvelous Designer. Stay tuned, see you again. Thank you. Thanks, y'all.